Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel in this video that how we can download the promoter sequence genomic sequence cds sequence and a protein sequence of a gene from ncbi because sometimes we 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 were unable to download our genes information and their sequences from any specific database but we can download them from ncbi so let's start first you need to make some files for getting or for saving the information about the your gene one is the excel sheet that contains the heading like gene name organism from which you are downloading that gene is that gene protein id cds sequence id or gene id like uh, genome id and its chromosome that that gene is present on which chromosome and its start and position the strand that it is on sense or anti sense strand or amino acid exon intron molecular weight pi gravy and sub cellular localization but remember that the exon intron molecular weight pi gravy and sub cellular localization we have already made the video so you can also watch that video and the link of that video is present in the video description you need you need to also make some file test file like uh, cds file genomic sequence file promoter and protein so when we download that uh, sequences so we will see, save them according to their file now go to ncbi and select the protein here i want to download the dna DNA methyl transferase one gene from buffalo. So here it gives the that all the buffalo pre, buffalo DNA methyl transferase one gene present in the buffalo. So we open this. password so this one is the organism name we write it in the organism we will us we will us and here the gene name b b d n m t 1 likewise the amino acid this gene have the 4 1420 amino acid or 20 and here are also other information about these genes so we also need sequence cds sequence here is a protein Here is a, that is the gene. So when you this one is the gene ID. So also open it. And uh, now you go to the now we download all the sequences one by one. So this is the protein. So click on this protein. This is the 
so this is the protein sequence id you can copy this open the excel sheet and here you can paste copy and paste also copy that sequence that protein sequence open the protein sequence file here first you enter the greater than sign b b d and m t 1 here save it so, now go to the nucleotide pasta this is a nucleotide sequence id copy and in serious sequence id paste it in the serious sequence id also copy that sequence copy open the serious sequence b b d and m t 1 paste and save it now open that your gene sequence or genomic sequence here you will find some other information like uh, its strength that the arrow this arrow shows that it is towards the right side means it is on forward this this gene is on the uh, forward strand or sense strand so here we write the strand is forward and other information is the chromosome it is on chromosome 9 so here is the chromosome 9 So with the genomic sequence we will get from the clicking on first of this is the genomic or gene sequence study copy paste it this is its start and end position this one is the fourth position this one is end position of this gene and copy this genomic sequence copy open the file greater than b b d and m t 1 and paste save it now but here remember that sometimes this window was hidden like this so by clicking on this point you will find the 
it's a start and end position this one is its five prime end while the this one is its three prime end so we can download or get the promoter sequence from here but remember one thing that that for downloading the promoter region remember that if the gene is on forward strain then for downloading or getting the promoter region subtract 51500 from 5 prime end but if the gene is on reverse strain then add 1500 base pair on 3 prime end usually we use the 1500 base pair upstream or downstream for the promoter region so that's why we are using 1500 base pair so this gene this our gene the da dnmt1 is on forward strain so we will add we will subtract 1500 from the 5 prime end so this is our 5 prime end so we will add 1500 we will sorry we will subtract 1500 in from this sequence after subtracting 1500 this figure becomes this one and then click on update view so you can this was our promoter region as well as genomic region so how we know that this is our promoter region so count these up to 1500 so better is copy this open a doc file and paste that one line and count this so click on this so you will get that these are the 17 base pair in one line so one line contains 70 base pair so it means we need 21 base pair uh, lines one 21 lines contains about 1470 so two This one 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it, it, these are about uh, 1470. Then 30 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is this is these are our this is our promoter region 1500. So copy this, open the promoter region file and paste it. Sorry, here write the name BB DNMT1 for double check. You can also see that open the genomic file and check that your genomic sequence is stored from here GC, GG, CC. So also check here that after getting the or copying the promoter uh, region the genome sequence is start from the same
So you can see G C G G C C C C and this one G C G G C C C so it means that this is our promoter region and we have got the correct promoter region or copy the corrected promoter region. In this way you can get your CDS promoter region, genome sequence and protein sequence of your gene that you didn't are unable to download from any other specific data source and you will also get the information about that gene and these IDs like chromosome start and position forward or amino acid for getting the intron exon or molecular weight PI gravy or subcellular information you will get the link of that video in the video description hopefully this will help you thank you